Hello everyone and welcome back to Love is Strange. I'm recording this episode directly after the last one and I'm still tired so this is this episode is also going to be like just relaxed and quiet and kind of mellow because it's midnight and I'm pretty tired but I'm recording content anyways because I'm nice like that. So we just got off the boat I think the yacht and we are waiting for Victoria to finish up taking her photos. After Victoria's shoot, I convinced her to stop by the one place I know we'd get an amazing view. The lighthouse. Despite Victoria's initial hesitance, she pretty much agreed when she saw how much time we had to kill. And now she's following behind me with a grumble. She almost trips once, and after that she ends up grasping my wrist as we trek up the hill. Trek. Yeah, check up the hill. I don't mind. This is... Since you went through so much effort to show me a nice view, I thought I'd um show you one too. She just lifts up her shirt. This time my smile is a little nervous as I wait for her response, stopping at the top of the hill. Victoria releases my wrist and I roll it to regain feeling. She's got such a tight grip. Oof. Once we're up there, Victoria stops to really take in the view, and I wait patiently for her response. It's gorgeous. You do have taste after all. I find it hard to believe she wouldn't have ever like been here before, or at the very least been close to it. I'm glad you like it. I'm relieved. Especially because there's like a bonfire pit thingy that indicates there's been like parties there. You know she would have gone to some of them. Victoria hums, walking ahead of me and towards the ledge. She starts snapping a few photos instantly to test her settings, probably, before stopping to fix them. It's calming to listen to, while I sit down on the bench and start sorting through my recent Polaroids for today. Max. Um. Thanks. Huh? I'm surprised by the confession. So when I look up, Victoria is still snapping away. You heard me. I smile down at my feet at that, shrugging my shoulders. It's seriously no problem. We're working together. Yeah, I guess we are. Victoria doesn't say anything else, and I opt to let her focus on her own thing. Those clicks fill the air again. Well, for a little while. And then suddenly this game turns into The Last of Us. They stop again, and I blink and look up in confusion, knowing there's no way Victoria could be anywhere near done. What I see instead is Victoria standing at the ledge quietly, camera at her side, one hand grasping at her elbow. The way the afternoon sun frames her makes me feel out of breath. There's something fragile about her, unguarded. I feel like we're going to get the option to choose to take a photo or not take a photo, or at the very least Max will take a photo of Victoria. I wonder what she's thinking about. I also told you so. I also can't help myself, and I lift my camera, catching the scene in my viewfinder. I press down on the shutter. Ah, that's cute. When the picture comes out, I'm fully convinced I found the perfect shot. The theme is bonds, though, wasn't? Isn't it? Like, how does that indicate a bond? At Blackwell, me and Victoria wind up sitting on the freshly cut grass of the courtyard, going through all our photographs. Like, it was a good photo, but there was no bond theme to it. Maybe she should have, like, put her in handcuffs or something. My Polaroid photos are spread on the grass in front of our legs, little squares against the green lawn. In contrast, Victoria just has her camera on her lap, open to the camera roll. I'm pressed up real close against her side to peer over her shoulder. In retrospect, this feels a lot more intimate than it should. Maybe not us sitting like this, but just me being here with Victoria in the first place. I'm used to just seeing the Vortex Club obnoxiously taking up the space whenever we're out of class, during the mornings or at lunch, all huddled up, laughing at whatever. Of course, Victoria is included in that too. Now, instead of her sitting here with them, it's with me. Hello, Max. Are you even listening? Huh? Yeah, um... Victoria squints at me suspiciously, pulling her finger back from where she'd been prodding at one of my photographs. 
When I check, it's nothing special. Just a general landscape shot of the boardwalk itself. Okay, not convincing. What did I just say? How much you like that one? I tease, and Victoria laughs in disbelief. You wish. Oof, so you're saying you don't? She looks so scorned. Victoria hums instead of giving me a real solid response. That's a no then, and I roll my eyes at her. Okay, so maybe I wasn't paying attention, but I so am right now. Sure you are, only because I had to jerk you back into reality. She knocks my arm with hers, and I huff softly, mock offended. A pout makes its way onto my lips. I am. Mm-hmm. After the shoot, Victoria had seemed a lot more relaxed. Or, like, I guess the atmosphere is just more relaxed in general. I'm definitely not as tense as before, either. Maybe it's the fact that all we have left to do is choose between our photos. I feel like they might somehow end up splicing their photos together. Or maybe it will be like a branching path where we can choose to submit either Max's or Victoria's and that will maybe change the ending. I seriously thought that that would be a lot more stressful. It's not. At least Victoria doesn't make it stressful. Stress free or not, I rub up my eyes and try to focus. We have to pick something for our submission. And now Victoria's staring right at me again, real serious. With how close we are, all I can do is manage a sheepish smile. Okay, what is it? I want to know, just for reference, which one is your favourite? I blink at the question, not really sure I've heard it right. Victoria puts her camera down between our knees. My favourite? Like, which one I think looks the best? Not exactly, though that is important. I mean personal preference. Hmm, that's not really a hard question to answer, not at all. I already know exactly which photo comes to mind. It's just a little embarrassing to admit. I lean back on my hands and I draw in a long breath of air to prepare myself for the inevitable post-answer explanation. Well, it's actually... It takes me a moment to lean forward again, just so I can tap my finger against the one showcasing Victoria. When she is illuminated by the sunlight, standing just at the cliff of the lighthouse. That one? There's this hesitant pause in her breath, and I rest my palm against my jeans, rubbing my hand down them. Yeah, definitely. What about yours? I bet that's her favourite as well. I counter before she can grill me about my choice, not sure that I can handle that just yet. Victoria straightens her shoulders, tensing up. I can feel it right against my side. She heaves a huge sigh, and just from that I can tell she's not particularly confident about any of them. Out of mine? Fucking none. There's a note of irritation to her voice, backed with just the slightest disappointment. I frown, peering back down at her digital camera. None? No way. They're so good. I... She pauses and hesitates. I know they're good, but they're not amazing or anything. I don't see anything special in them. Nothing particularly remarkable. Just then, she deflates a little. She sags down slightly, grimacing down at her camera and turning her head away from me. Victoria? It's whatever. I was thinking. I want you to submit yours instead. My heart freezes up in my chest at the words, and I sit up straighter. What? Victoria glances at me, swallowing dryly and running her fingers through her bangs. I watch the action, watch the apprehension flash over her face. What, Max, are you, like, milking this for all it's worth? Defenses are defensive as ever. I shake my head quickly. I said you should submit yours. Sorry, I'm just surprised. Oh, and why is that? We've talked about this. There's this curiosity in her tone, but it's laced with something miffed, something wary. She curls her fingers up in her cashmere sweater and I bite the inside of my cheek. She's nervous, I think. Um, thought your photos looked amazing too? Victoria scrunches up her nose and sniffs. I already told you, they aren't. I raise my hand to cut her off and she scowls at me. You might not think so, 
but don't you think you're pretty biased? I mean, I don't think the rest of mine are amazing either. That's just because I took them. We're our own worst critics, right? Something like that. Victoria shuts her mouth and ends up just grumbling, nudging me back when I flash her a self-satisfied smile. Okay, alright, ugh, you have a point there. Regardless, I still think you should submit yours. There's no hesitation in her voice as she tells me this. None at all. It's still really sinking in, but even after all this, she's prepared to let me take the reins. Okay. If you really think I should, then I will. I agree quietly, and that's when I feel it. The way Victoria loosens up, muscles almost melting against me at my affirmation of her demand. I gently bump her shoulder with mine, letting her know that I'm here. I wouldn't say no. Good. If we don't win, I'm skinning you alive. A laugh bubbles out of my throat and Victoria joins me. Wow, okay. Aggressive much? Only a little. Do you think I'm joking? Rolling my eyes, I reach him to take the photo in my hands, running my thumbs over it. The sun feels warm, the grass is soft, and Victoria is a better heater than her ice-cold demeanour would usually suggest. I let myself sink against her side. She rests her arm behind my back, palm flat against the grass, almost as if she's getting just as comfortable as I am. I don't know, Victoria. I think you're warming up to me. It's quiet for a few beats, and I wonder about the lack of a response, of another thinly veiled insult or snappy remark. You'd like that, wouldn't you? She finally counters, challenging me. When I respond, I don't even have to think about it. Maybe I would. Aww. Friday. I think this is the, the announcement of the winner. Okay, I think we've seen this. So, Victoria had texted me this morning, reminding me to wake up as if I wouldn't do it on my own. By this point, I'm pretty sure those are just her nerves acting up too. I haven't seen her all morning, not even in the shower room. Is she even going to turn up? Um, Victoria isn't here. Are you sure you're not the one who needed a wake up call? Haha, ha, very funny. Are you in class right now? I am, and it's pretty packed. We're not the only ones worried, I guess. Definitely not. I bring my attention back to the classroom as a whole. Okay, where are you? Calm down, Max, I'll be there. I know you will, I'm just curious. I went out to get some breakfast with Taylor. No invite, sad face. To be fair, I didn't think you'd be awake yet. I thought you'd need as much sleep as you can get. Okay. You know that cafe down the street? Uh, okay. I'm just trying to sort of skip through but also not miss anything. So she's looking through her bag. Someone drops a white paper bag onto her desk and it's Victoria. Victoria's face comes into view and she pulls her hand away from my back, clerking a brow up at me. Taylor's standing right behind her, although all she does is flash me a coy smile, winking at me before sliding away to her own desk. That leaves me at least 50 times more surprised. Victoria leans her hip against my desk. You okay? <laughs> you scared me, you jerk. Okay, a vanilla latte. Um, I realise it's from the bakery. She bought us a snack. Uh, a croissant. You got me bread? It's a croissant, Max. She sounds exasperated and I grin. Thanks. I wasn't expecting this. Okay. I thought you'd probably do something dumb like skip breakfast. Being anxious on an empty stomach fucking blows. I just want to make sure you're not, like, dying. She cares. Okay. You can go back to your friends if you want. They can wait. She says this offhandedly, like she didn't just put me before her buddies. How nervous are you? The golden question. By now, I'm positive she knows just how I'm feeling. A bunch. Not surprised. 
I am too. Okay, Courtney is calling for her. You should go. They're waiting, and I'm pretty sure you already spent enough time with me. Oh, please. You say that like it's a bad thing. Victoria's... Oh, my God. I almost choke on my croissant. I can't remember the exact wording, but there's, like, a thing where it's, like... I there's this kid, I think, and he's, like, I almost dropped my croissant. <laughs> well, hey, don't die on me now. Um, so you do like spending time with me? Wouldn't be here if I didn't. Consider yourself lucky. She's blushing. Okay, Victoria's going back to her friends now. Oh, and Max? Save me a seat next to you. Oh my god. I- wait. I will, yeah. I didn't know if I'd clicked on the right thing. Thought so. Okay. I'm not going to talk to anyone else. Okay. Why does nobody seem to question that our teacher is a giant sentient hot dog? Um, Victoria's looking at us. She offers me an encouraging nod, expression serious. I know she's every bit as nervous as I am, but if she's still putting her trust in me, I'm sure we can do this. Goodness, this was so difficult. Um. Oh, I guess the photo does show a bond because it's like the friendship or the romance between Max and Victoria. So technically, I guess they got away with the bonds theme. Maxine Caulfield and Victoria Chase. Surprising no one. We, we won. Okay, well, surprising Max. It seriously doesn't sink in, not even when I can hear all the applause from everyone and Chloe's super obnoxious whistling. I feel shocked to my seat. None of it feels real, not even when I watch Dog pin our photo to the board. I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce MX. Is it like Mux? I'm sorry, I don't know. Max? I turn to face Victoria and now the rush hits me all at once. All the applause, the fact that Dog had called out both our names with such pride. We won. We seriously won, me and Victoria working together. It's so wild that I feel like I'm in a dream. And I pull Victoria in a hug, out of instinct, feeling her totally stiffen up in my grip. Oh my god. She groans loudly and all I can do is laugh in disbelief, going to pull away from her quickly. She stops me by slipping her arm around my shoulders and squeezing gently right before pulling away from me. I grin at her, cheeks flushed with excitement, and she smirks slightly at me. It was so embarrassing. Sorry, I just... She stops me with a snort, just grasping my shoulder and shaking me very gently. I know, we fucking won. Just as I said we would. I couldn't be any happier right now. It feels like I'm floating. I feel like I can do anything. I said that so monotone. I couldn't be happier right now. All my nerves are on fire with adrenaline and I've never been so proud. It all makes me think how crazy it was, all the worrying I did. I'm so glad to have Vic to have had Victoria on my side goading me on. I don't think I could have done it without her. Not at all. Victoria's watching me and she leans back with a tight smile. I told you we could do it. I know, I shouldn't have doubted you. It's just... God, I can't believe it. We did it, Victoria. Victoria's eyebrow twitches and I can't read the expression on her face. And then she eyes the area behind me and it takes me a second to realise that she's locked eyes with Chloe. And by extension, Rachel. They're all glaring at each other and it takes a lot for me to suppress a groan. I slip my hand onto Victoria's and squeeze. Victoria rips her gaze off them and offers me another tight smile, forced. You look like you have a few people who want to congratulate you. Should be congratulating us, both of us. I state this honestly, honestly, fiercely, and Victoria pauses and shakes her head, scoffing. Hardly. You should come with me to say hi. An awkward grimace marks her face for a second and it's gone, okay. An unwise decision, Max, but you go ahead. I kind of don't want to talk to anyone. K, 
Okay, it's the end of class. Um, Victoria's walking the other way. She's being congratulated. When I check over my shoulder, Victoria's not there anymore. It makes me worry, even if it's probably nothing. Plus, she told me to find her, and I'm gonna do just that. Okay, I'm gonna just save really quickly because I haven't done that yet and I don't wanna lose my progress. After all, I feel like this might be the end though, I don't know. It wouldn't be right if we didn't celebrate our win together. It took me a while to figure out where Victoria disappeared off to. Since I hadn't seen her out in the courtyard, or even in the halls, that really only leaves one place, especially since I'd peeked out into the parking lot and her car had still been there. Not that I think Victoria would leave me. Why would she, when she specifically told me to find her? Now I'm standing in the dorm hall, and I pause mid-step when I spot the door to her room cracked open, almost as if she's intentionally left it that way. I don't hesitate at all in heading over to her door and opening it. I peer inside Victoria's room, gripping the edge of her door frame. As expected, she's there, sitting on her bed, holding something tightly in her hands. I try to get a good look, but from my position it's not exactly easy. Her gaze is unexpectedly hard as I tiptoe my way in, shutting the door softly behind me. Victoria? Victoria tenses up when I call out for her, prying her eyes off the thick book in her hands. She blinks and then sighs. There you are. Couldn't even knock. I wasn't sure if I should. Your door was open anyways. I'm kidding. I'm not upset. It was open for a reason. I just didn't think you'd show up so quickly. It was open just for me. I cross over to her bed and Victoria directs her attention back to whatever it is she's holding. It takes me a second to realise that's her portfolio. Hopefully she'll just actually let us look at it without having to pass some bullshit test, Evan. Oh, that's cute. Um, October 11th. Wait, hold on. Okay, so we were there, and then we have this page. Um, you can read that, I'm not going to. October 11th. I think I might actually like Victoria. Fuck. I'm sitting in class waiting for the winners of the contest to be announced. This is the longest hour of my fucking life. But win or lose, I had an experience I'm not going to forget anytime soon. Victoria bought me breakfast this morning. That pretty much says it all. She's so different than the person I thought she was. I figured she was mean because she wasn't confident. And that's true. But there's a zillion other layers beneath that, and I kind of understand her. At least I feel like I might know where she's coming from, and I want to be the one to help her show more of her sweet side. Because she does have a sweet side, believe it or not. She's actually got shades of kindness and gentleness and altruism I could have never imagined. It just took a lot of work to get close enough to see it. And I love what I've seen, and I really, really want to get to know this side of Victoria more. It makes me feel all hopeful and liked. I know putting my heart on the line for her could be disastrous, but you know what? Always take the shot. I like that. Um, it looks so thick. She must have a lot in there already. Despite myself, I grow a little worried at the sight. Tense set of her shoulders and serious slant to her eyes makes me wonder if she's upset. I would have shown up quicker, it's just, you know, everyone wanted to congratulate me. A briefly amused snort escapes Victoria's lips when she pats the spot next to her. On a scale of 1 to 10, how uncomfortable did that praise make you? A solid 7? Mostly because my partner wasn't there to share it with me. I take a seat next to her, the bed bouncing a little at the way I drop myself onto it. Victoria clicks her tongue and shrugs. You didn't need me to share it with you. Something about the way Victoria says that throws me off. It's resigned, as if, as if she thinks she hasn't had any effect on all of this, on any of this, and she's just taking it. What do you mean? You're my partner, Victoria. I couldn't have done it without you. Please, that win was all on you, Max. Victoria's slightly turned away from me, like she's trying to shield herself from me. My heart quenches in my chest at the sight. 
Does she seriously think she's had no part in this? No way. Victoria, you've had everything to do with this. We both did this. Victoria shuts her eyes and huffs, placing her portfolio but back down in her lap. No, Max, that was your photograph that won. And you were the one who helped me take it. I mean, is that what you're so upset about? Victoria catches my gaze from the side and her lip twitches as if something about that bothers her. I'm not upset about it. You deserved it. I'm just saying that I'm not going to take credit for something you did. And I'm saying that's bullshit, Victoria. I can't help it. The words are flying out of my mouth before I have the chance to stop them. Maybe it's because Victoria is being so ridiculous. Maybe it's because I can't stand the sight of Victoria putting herself down so easily. Victoria straightens up like a bullet at my words, turning to watch me with wide eyes. Excuse me? I almost think that maybe I've gone too far, but I suck it up. I can't wave and not now. I said that's bullshit, okay? This whole time you've been goading me on. Without you, I don't think I even would have been so confident in submitting anything today. Victoria's eyes narrow and then she licks her lips waiting for me to continue. So excuse me if I think it's really ridiculous that you're not giving yourself even a little credit. Even if it's not your photograph like I said. Without you, it wouldn't exist. It wouldn't even exist. Victoria doesn't say anything and for an instant I really am sure that I've said too much. But I don't regret it. She's going to kiss us. Victoria needs to hear how important she is, even if it's from some dorky hipster, even if it's from someone that I'm pretty sure she's used to just competing against. Victoria needs to know that she's just as important, just as amazing as I've learned she is this week. Okay. Jesus, Max. I've never seen you so passionate. Victoria's eyes lock onto my face, this is it, and I suddenly feel very small at the way she's looking at me. Her face is totally unreadable too. All that bravado I felt from before feels like a total dream, like someone else was in charge of my body, stringing me along. Yeah. I force myself to speak anyways, and I just bite the inside of my cheek, curling my toes up in my sneakers. You just... needed to know. Like, really needed to know. Victoria inhales deeply through her nose, and then she pries her gaze off of me. I still can't tell what she's thinking. Regardless, you do remember what I was saying about my portfolio. Yeah, I remember. Even if... She stops, shrugs. Even though I might be a big part of it, it's not like I can use it. Oh, that's... I didn't even think of that. Clearly. Not that I hold it against you. Too busy being showered in affection. Victoria smirks. Oops, clearing her throat right after. But I suppose that just means it's not time for me to submit this just yet. After all, none of the t pictures I took are worth putting in here. My gaze is drawn back to the wide book in her hands. It's leather bound. I wouldn't expect anything less from Victoria Chase. It looks so intimidating. And I bet whatever's inside is amazing. Maybe it does, but knowing you, Victoria, I'm positive whatever's in there is amazing. Okay, now you just have too much. Now you just have too much faith in me. I read it right. Never. I'm totally serious. I know it doesn't matter if I get like two words mixed round in the wrong order if it doesn't really change the sentence structure that much, but. I don't know, I like to read the sentences correctly, although it might not seem like it because I always read them wrong. Victoria, oh my god, Victoria smiles briefly and I reach out, brushing my hand against the side of hers. The contact feels almost electric. Victoria, on the other hand, stiffens up slightly. Can I see? I'd be stoked to see what you have in there. What, so you can shower me in more praise? There's a soft sarcasm in her voice, and I roll my eyes and beam at her. Maybe. Victoria seems to freeze, scoffing and handing it over to me. I take it gently, my heart full knowing that she trusts me with it. When I open it, I'm already astounded by the quality of the work within it. As expected, Victoria is so, so remarkable. 
I think I'd almost be jealous if we hadn't hung out together this whole week. I can almost hear myself now. How can someone so awful have such an amazing portfolio? Only now I know Victoria's not awful, she's just insecure. As I flip through each of the pages, I realise Victoria's gone super quiet. I glance back up at her just to see her biting her lip, hands pressed against her skirt. Victoria, these are... wowzer. You've got such an amazing eye. Think so? They're just... my best ones, but honestly, they could be better. I shake my head immediately, returning my gaze to the book, right as I see Victoria swallow nervously. No, for real. I mean it. I never get to see your stuff, aside from, like, some assignments, but all of these are on a whole other level. Victoria shifts next to me, and I feel her knee bump against mine. Thanks, Max. No problem. I'm almost to the end of the thick book, though when I turn the page... I spot a photograph that makes my breath pause in my chest, my cheeks flushing, my heart does a double take in my chest. It's the photo she took of us. It's me standing right off the edge of the yacht from yesterday, trying to angle the perfect shot from my Polaroid camera. What makes it pop is the backdrop of the bay right behind me, the lighthouse just within sight from afar. Victoria. I can't help the surprised quality to my voice, and I look up from the photo to Victoria, who's steadily going pink. Oh god, you weren't supposed to... Victoria covers her mouth with her hand and reaches over to shut the book. Instead of letting her, I grasp her hand. I thought you said none of the pictures you took yesterday were worth putting in here. I managed to say, even though I'm positive I'm just as red as Victoria is. Still, I have to admit, the way my heart is beating isn't just because of shock. The fact that Victoria went and developed my photo, and it's in here. I... I did say that, didn't I? Victoria closes her eyes and sighs deeply. Ugh, it's... It's a good photo. That's it. Victoria defends lamely, tone blunt as she tries to downplay her total embarrassment of being caught. I, on the other hand, can't stop smiling. All I'm thinking about is what it could mean. Don't get too ahead of yourself, Max. It's just... wowzer. I can't believe I'm in this. Well, you are. So... I want to say something else, to tell her how amazing I think it is, but she seems really embarrassed. She won't even meet my eyes. I just close the portfolio. I, uh... I hope you don't mind me injecting my opinion, but... Please, as if I could stop you from saying anything at this point. Victoria gains some of her bite back, and it makes me laugh a little, even though I feel like something shifted in the atmosphere around us. I think it's amazing. I think you should definitely give it a shot and submit this to the, that gallery. What? You can't... be serious. It's not ready. It might never be ready, Victoria. I mean, what are the chances of you getting it to be totally perfect? And you'll never know if it's ready or not if you don't give it a shot. When did you get so wise, Max? She sniffs, raising a brow at me. All I can do is shrug. Maybe I learned a few things this week. You're welcome. Wow, you said I was talking about you. We both share an amused glance, and then Victoria goes serious once more, studying me. Okay, I will. But on one condition, Max. One condition? Like, like what? I want you to help me. For a second, I'm totally surprised by what she's getting at, and I swallow thickly. I'm going to be honest, I don't dislike it, and I'm not trying to be rude at all, but this scene is kind of going on for a while. I think it's just because I'm tired and I've been reading for ages and my throat's kind of dry, but this scene is, like, kind of dragging. Like, I've always... Whenever I play, like, with the Rachel and Chloe roots, I was like, kiss, 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 and was like, I just wanted it to happen, but now I feel like this is kind of just going on a bit, and I just want it to, I want them to kiss, I want the romance to happen. Help you, like, you heard me, just, you know, going through my stuff, being my second opinion, because as you so clearly stated, 
I'm apparently a poor judge on my own. No kidding. I joke carefully, although I'm floored by Victoria's demand. I fist my hands against my jeans, really thinking about it. And I decide that I'd love to help Victoria. In fact, I'd already been thinking it before. I just wasn't sure if I should ask. It would be good for the two of us, I think. See if the diary's updated. Nope, I think that might be it anyway now. Is Victoria Chase actually asking me for help? Max. Victoria says my name dangerously, and I just smile at her. I'm kidding, mostly, but yeah, of course. I'd love that. Good. Victoria relaxes, and I watch her exhale softly, gently. And it won't just be you helping me. I'll do the same for you too, you know? You will? I don't mean to sound so surprised. I guess I never do. But all Victoria does is nod, reaching out for her portfolio and resting her hand next to mine. Duh, I can't just leave you by yourself. If I didn't, God knows when you'd put your work out there. Hey, my chest rumbles with my slight laughter as Victoria teasingly jostles my shoulder with hers. Okay, I think I might just kind of skim read these now. Untrue, but okay. I like that. Victoria hums softly and I turn to stare at her. She's giving me the same stare as earlier. Serious, and I can't read it, not for a minute. It's almost as if she's searching for something. For the third time in the past 30 minutes, my heart does its thing again. I think I see her eyes dip down my face and I open my lips to say something, furrowing my brows. <gasps> Yay, finally! And suddenly she's kissing me, so quickly it's almost jarring. I'm pretty sure our teeth knock into each other, but it's offset by how soft her lips are, by how much my head spins. I'm so shocked I don't even have the chance to respond when she pulls away, breath staggered against my lips. Oh. <laughs> oh. As if I could come up with anything less coherent. I'm still trying to get a grip, trying to realise that Victoria Chase just kissed me. All I can see on her expression is the gnawing worry, present in that cute crease between her eyebrows. Fuck, I... Victoria's jaw tenses, locks up, and I realise she's trying to backpedal out of this, so naturally I, re I react on instinct. Yay! Aww. I said at the beginning of the series I'm really not a fan of like enemies to lovers, but this was cute. I reach forward, pressing another kiss to her lips. It's firmer. I make sure it's firmer, confident, positive. My chest feels as if it's going to explode. The way Victoria gasps against my lips doesn't do a thing to calm the patter of my heart, and that's okay. After a moment, I pull away, and I manage a shaky laugh that Victoria returns. That could have gone a lot better for our first kiss. Oh, fuck off. I was... I was just a little... nervous, I can tell. Victoria rolls her eyes, and then she leans forward again, our noses brushing. The high flush in her cheeks makes her look even more gorgeous, I think. I think. This time, I slip my hand under her cheek, brushing the back of her ear. Victoria's hand settles against my side, and I can feel the nervous tremble of her fingers. Whatever. We can work on that as long as we need to, too. Definitely. This time when we kiss, we're both ready for it. Aww. Wait, I want to see what that achievement means. Okay, we finished. Awesome. Oops, I accidentally went back. Okay. So, we have finished the Rachel, uh, the Victoria route now. We've done the Rachel route and Chloe route as well. Next, we are going to do the Kate route, and then we'll be done with the game. Uh, sorry, I'm just trying to like get past these credits. I don't remember these ever really coming up before. Okay, there we go. Achievements. I want to see what the Addicted to You achievement is. Let's see all of them. Is this be the beginning? I think so. Partners in crime make the world bow. Uh, ready for your close up. An artist meets a muse. Fraternizing with the enemy. 
product placement. We got that from the Final Fantasy thing, I think. I want to know what poster of a girl is. Uh, oh my god. Is that a Hayley Kiyoko reference? I think it is. Addicted to you caught me by surprise. Okay. Awesome. So that is the Victoria route done and dusted. Thank you guys for watching. I'm sorry that I was kind of quiet and well, kind of I'm always like this, but I'm just I'm tired right now. I'm going to go to bed as soon as I'm like done with this. Thank you guys for watching. I will be doing the Kate route next soon and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye everyone.